Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites and hopefully add all kinds of awesome games to your backlog or your wish list or your now playing list or whatever you're doing out there. I'll tell you what, we are going to do our absolute damnedest to add to it. Hey folks, this is just a delightful game that I have the opportunity to show you today. This is probably the most adorable bullet heaven I have ever laid eyes on. This is a game called Petty 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 and I want to thank the dev for allowing me the opportunity to have a copy of the game and to show it off to you here on the channel. I have a fair warning to all of the viewers out there. This song that you are hearing right now is going to be stuck in your head for the rest of the day, or perhaps several days, it is delightful and you will be quite happy about it. Does it continue to play? A hundred percent. Does it become more and more delightful as time goes on? A hundred percent. So we will all converge together in having this wonderful song stuck in our heads. Mini Octon will follow. Charges at nearby enemies as the number increases. That looks like a delightful pet. Why don't we go with that? So we've got a specific amount of time we are trying to survive for. I will say that I've played a couple of runs, but I haven't been successful yet, so I don't know what the requisite number of minutes we have to survive is. Uh, it looks like our pet maybe is multiplying, unless I just noticed that now. Okay, this is interesting. So maybe the pet suicides itself? I'm not sure what's happening right now, but I am sure that I like it. Let's go with the Nano Lancet. Yeah, there are definitely more of those things spawning, but I, I believe they're hurling themselves to their death at the germs that we are trying to fight. So we are in a body and we are fighting germs. The uh, razor mouth tail things uh, are a certain type of pathogen. That we are trying to exterminate. The uh, spinning tops are also a pathogen. The background to the game looks like something I saw in high school biology. There's that mitochondria, right? I think we're uh, tap dancing on the cytoplasm today, folks. I'm happy about it. This is uh, really taking me back here. Now let's go with the core ball. Now, if you look at the top right there, you'll see that we have eight different places for weapons and capabilities. So we'll hopefully fill that out as we go along. The game does sport some meta progression as well in the menu area. We'll show that off following this run. And don't you worry, because in that menu, the music is still playing. It's okay. The music will not stop, folks. It's delightful, isn't it? I really think this is probably the cutest bullet heaven I can remember seeing. Getting Poyo Poyo Da vibes 
like of the Dreamcast era from the music. I don't know. I'm into it. I'm into it. You know, I, I think I'll probably just leave this game running in the background so that as I'm working, you know, I can hear it. Maybe I'll go full blast. See if I can get it stuck in the wife's head, too. I mean, it only seems fair, right? We're all enjoying it together. All right, we are hitting the four and a half minute mark here. Uh, let's go with an upgrade to the Nano Lancet. would challenge folks right now to let us know in the comments what you can come up with as far as a bullet heaven that is you know on this level of charm there is one that comes to mind but it's on the tip of my tongue right now it is free to play and it is also lovely and there is no way I will think of it, but I'm sure as I say that out loud, some of you are probably already thinking of it or have already put it in your mind. And it is a wonderful game. It'll come to me right after I turn the recorder off. All right, so it's official. We have a purple whale head uh, chasing us at this point. Watch out for those purple whale heads. Okay, we already have the laser. I think we'll go ahead and put a point into the laser. This game appears to have come out back in March. What do we want to do here? Maybe the mini Octon? Let's do that. But I'll tell you, this just completely flew below my radar screen. I, I don't remember folks talking about it out there. When I popped it on, I thought, oh my, I would have gladly shown this off when it came out. Uh oh, holy moly. We've got a, oh gosh, okay. Maybe that's a cell or a piece of tissue being attacked. Uh, let's go with our Medi laser. All right, I think we've got to get rid of the germs that are sawing on our piece of tissue there, which is not going to be easy. Let's go cooldown reduction for sure. Oh god, it's angry. Oh no. Oh, now it's sad. Okay, I I think they I think they killed it. Something happened up there with the arrow. Oh no, it's it's getting sadder by the second. I I think it died. We just cannot cut through that horde. All right. We're going to have to leave that one. We'll save the next one. At least we'll try, right? Emergency vital signs. Oh god. Okay, uh, let's go with the laser again. Oh, did we save him? Oh, we saved him. Oh, that's great. Okay, uh, we'll go Medi laser. I, 
I don't think that guy was too happy with our level of performance overall, and uh, I can't say I blame him. Oh, look at what happened there. Top right. That knocked out a couple of our capabilities. Oh, that is quite punishing. I wonder if that lasts the entire round. Or if we've got the opportunity to redeem ourselves in the next opportunity to save the tissue from the invaders. I wonder. Okay, so if you were thinking about the bullet heaven that's about the VTubers and part of the title is Save the Fans. I just can't remember the first part. That's the other one I was thinking of. Hollow Cure. That's what it is. I knew it would come to me. Hollow Cure. I could see that. Alright, so our capabilities have come back. Which is great. Glad that was only temporary. I think this game desperately needs a strafe option, and as far as I can tell, I have not been able to figure out the controls to do that. The other thing I'll say is, if you do choose to jump on the petty, petty, petty bandwagon. The game defaults to... Uh, it's either Japanese or Chinese. I'm not sure because I can't read either. Um, I'm going to try to walk through here. There we go. It's just like Vampire Survivors. Don't let the wall of plants stop you. Let's go recovery. So you've got to go in and uh, change the language settings to English if, if that's a better fit for you. Took me just a second to figure that out. When I first loaded it up, I thought, uh-oh. No, I think the game is officially fighting back now. We are pretty well surrounded here. still have two more spaces for new capabilities, whether it's some kind of passive or a weapon. But these enemies really want to eat me. Oh, Zoics. I don't know if it's going to happen. Uh, let's go recovery just because of what's going on right now. Ow! There it is, folks. Petty, petty, petty. What a background soundtrack, right? I mean, come on. It's fantastic. All right, let's look at the progression options. So you use these power-up balls, which we don't have any right now but you can place them into these different components. And I believe the way you get them is by doing certain achievements, because if we go back and look at that area, that might give us those details. Yep. So I think that's how I got some of the progression currency. See, here you go. So they're kind of detailing what's on offer there. All right, folks. It was a pleasure showing this off, and I am sorry, not sorry, about the rest of your day hearing this glorious music. Really interesting bullet heaven. I mean, we've got to give it that. So if you want to check this one out, 
I will include the link to the Steam page in the video description. Feel free to jump on in there. And I'll tell you what, we'll do this again sometime out on the Goat Force Gaming channel where we will play a roguelike or a roguelite because, well, because that's what we do every stinking time. And you know what else we'll do? We'll give away a video game at least once a week. Because we love doing giveaways from the community. We do them because of you and your support. So thank you for that and thank you for allowing me to do this. I look forward to it every single day. Thanks again so much. You have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you again out there soon. Don't worry, I'll let the music play us out, of course. Take care.